February 2. Any spare salt? You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled. Matthew chapter 5 verse 13, New International Version. The plot was thickening and the words flowing smoothly. I was having a good time with a keyboard and smirking at the thought that I had. At this point, outrun that dreaded writer's block. The characters were becoming real. Until the loudest of knocks on my door threw me off guard. This better be good, I said to myself. Begrudgingly, I moved away from the computer to check who this bad timer was. I hoped it wasn't my neighbor's voice, who had already disturbed me twice that morning kicking their ball over my fence and coming around to knock on my door to ask that I throw it back to them. A discreet peep revealed it was the boy's little sister. I pondered if I should hear her out or continue writing. I assumed her brother had sent her over this time, having sense they had already gotten on my last nerve. Before I made up my mind whether to hear her out or not, she knocked again. I opened the door and forced a smile. Mommy wants to cook something and she has run out of salt. Do you have any spare salt, please? For a moment, I stared at the child, puzzled. She looked me straight in the eye as she said those words. Yes, I do have spare salt, I responded. She came in and waited at the hallway as I made it into the kitchen. Growing up as a young girl, my mom taught me to be sure I always had extra salt in my kitchen cupboards. True to that teaching, I always have one or two extra unopened bottles of salt. I handed the young girl a salt bottle and she left. Three days later, Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 came to mind. God requires me to be the salt of the world. He requires us to be well-seasoned and to mingle, carrying out the purpose to which He has called us. What good are we if we lose our saltiness? Or if we allow our saltiness to be overpowering? Had I ignored the little girl's knock, I would have missed an opportunity to reach out even in the most insignificant way. Our saltiness could be needed by very unlikely people. Yet, there should be no excuse. So my sisters, the question is, Are you too salty? Or are you well seasoned? Do you always have spare salt to share? Kind words you say to someone? Or that little act of kindness you extend to others? Lord, help me to be well-seasoned and minister to others.